Hey, you guys, it's another week of Work It Out Wednesday, and you know on Wednesdays we do a practice question that you can work through, and we work it out together, right? So this week's question states, a patient presents to the office with complaints of a rash on their arm. He states that he noticed it after hunting last weekend. Upon assessment, the nurse practitioner sees this image provided below. Based on these findings, how should the nurse practitioner treat? So, you know, we look at the stem of the question first. The stem of the question states, based on these findings, how should the nurse practitioner treat? So when you look at this image, and this is for my ANCC testers, okay? Because you will see images. And a lot of times it will be dermatologic um, images. Um, but I want you to be able to look at it and identify what it is. So I did something uh, short, sweet, and classic. But also I want you to realize if you're taking the AANP, it'll do our key terms for this, okay? So in this, what do you see? You see in the picture for ANCC, a bullseye pattern rash, right? Because if you look at that image, it looks like a perfect bullseye, right? Um, but on the AANP, they won't do the image, but they will put those key terms like that. They'll have that bullseye pattern rash described in there. So it may have said like a patient presents to the office with complaints of rash on the arm. As the nurse practitioner looks at it, she notices a bullseye pattern rash on the forearm, etc. So, you know, I tell you the key terms and, you know, I do my little song. When I say bullseye pattern rash, you say what? So what does it make you think of? I want you to think of it. Know those key terms. When you see images, you know those key identifiers that you are able to quickly think of those, right? So with bullseye pattern rash, hunting, we immediately think what? Lyme disease, aka erythema migrans. Because on boards, they may put it in either term. So no both both uh terms um that they're described as, okay? And then you got to know how to treat these bad boys, right? So if you have Lyme disease, how do you treat? So we're looking at the um, options below. A says Cipro, B says Doxy, C says Clindamycin, and D says Bactrim. Now, with um, Lyme disease, I'm just going to go straight through it because everybody got the answer correct. Y'all doing great. Um, and I did this for purposes more so just to give you the idea of what how it will be uh, possibly presented for an ANCC question to give you that that mindset as well as to be able to go over what the AAMP will look like. So with this, if you know your common identifiers, we know Lyme disease and we treat it with B, doxycycline. But I don't want to go a little bit deeper for you guys. So in our adults, yes, we use doxycycline. We do it for 10 to 14 days, giving them 100 milligrams BID. Now, if they are allergic to tetracyclines, then you want to do amoxicillin. Those are our first line therapy, okay? Um, and with amoxicillin, you do 500 milligrams TID for 14 days. So again, you start with doxy, but if you have a tetracycline allergy, you want to go with amoxicillin, okay? And also another option is cefroxamine. So that's C E F U R O. X-I-M-E, and we do 500 milligrams BID for 14 days for those. So those are all options, and I like to put it out there just in case you see any of those. Now, I um, get the question so many times because we think about the kiddos, right? And we know, we know, right? With the kids, tetracyclines, we don't give to kids under the um, age of nine because it can cause problems with their bones and their teeth, Right. But in this scenario, you still give those kids doxycycline, BID, and it's weight-based for 10 to 14 days because guess what? The benefit outweighs the risk. At this point, the treatment of doxycycline is going to keep you from having detrimental effects from it versus worrying about teeth decay or whatever else. But also another option for the kiddos is amoxicillin for 14 days also. And this is also weight based. Okay. So I always want to throw that out there just in case you get a different scenario or if they provide you with different options so that you're able to think through that and utilize what they have. They will not give you all of the options. That's just not how it's going to work. They're going to give you one. So if you see one of the, any of the things I mentioned, I want you to go with that. But first line therapy is doxycycline, okay? 
All right. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for uh, meeting me back here. But make sure you meet me back next Wednesday and bring a friend, somebody that may find this helpful as well. Okay. Make sure you're following the nursing studio on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. It's always going to be at the nursing studio, but Facebook, my group, will be at the nursing studio, and it'll also say the nurse practitioner board survival group. If you search just the at the nursing studio, you'll find my business page, which has the group link to it. So you can't miss it if you do at the nursing studio. But meet me back here, you guys, next Wednesday. Happy studying. Bye.